Okay, so this is a quick example to look at the change in entropy for heating a solid. Uh, so what we've got here is zinc oxide and it's being heated from uh, 298 Kelvin to 1000 degrees Kelvin. And so what I'm going to assume is one, that there's no phase change. Okay, and so I'll, I'll look that up a little bit later to make sure that's the case. Uh, and two, that uh, the, the P uh, that I'm doing this at is one atmosphere, okay, which is the pressure that stuff is tabulated at. Uh, or uh, I could say that uh, I'm assuming uh, that my solid is incompressible. Okay, and that's a, a very, very good assumption for uh, for any metal oxide. Uh, it's only really if you have uh, long chain uh, hydrocarbons, waxes, polymers, that sort of thing, that that might not be a good assumption. Okay, so without a phase change, we have delta S is equal to the integral from T1 to T2 for Cp on T to T. Uh, sorry, that's a funny looking T for temperature. To T. Okay, so so we need the heat capacity equation, which, we, which we've got just above up here. So so we're integrating from. Let me just check. 298 Kelvin to 1,000 degrees Kelvin, and so we got 49 on T plus. Uh, one okay divided by t remember t to the three so now I'm integrating this from uh, from one temperature to another so I get uh, so uh, the log of uh, T plus uh, plus nine point one two. Okay, so and that's evaluated from two hundred ninety eight to a thousand degrees Kelvin. When I plug uh, my numbers into here, then what I get is 58.2 joules per mole dot Kelvin. Okay, and so this is a typical sort of magnitude for heating over uh, several hundred degrees. You tend to get uh, changes in the entropy of tens of joules per mole. So if you get thousands of joules per mole, there's something terribly wrong. Or if you get point something joules per mole, there's something wrong. Okay, so, so always check the magnitude of your answer. Okay, thank you.